This video is rated for mild spoilers. Nothing discussed here should take away from your enjoyment of the movie, but if you absolutely don't want to know anything beforehand, the short version is the movie is good, go see it. For the rest of you, the review starts now. X-Men First Class is one of the best superhero movies ever made. The X-Men protect the world from all kinds of dangers, like evil mutants, underwear, more Hugh Jackman movies, and Kevin Bacon. Yeah, sorry, sorry, it just had to be said. But I do like a good origin story, and thanks to this movie, we finally learned the secret to Kevin Bacon's career. He absorbs energy to stay young. And you thought it was Botox. That would be silly. Unless it was like a glowing green super Botox, and it enhanced its cells and turned him into super bacon. But anyway, X-Men First Class is a part prequel, part reboot, and this movie had a lot of hype going in. Most of the reviews I had seen said that it was the best X-Men movie, and even that it was one of the best superhero movies ever, so I approached it very cautiously. Thankfully, it didn't let me down. I was really surprised at how much I liked this movie, even being told that it was good. It basically comes down to a good story, good directing, and good characters, and I really have to emphasize the characters here. For having such a large cast, it's amazing how most of the characters, not all of them, but most, actually are brought front and center long enough for you to get kind of a sense of who they are, why they're fighting, what motivates them, at least enough that you care. They at least feel like real people instead of just showing up to spit out dialogue and then walking off. I know a lot of you are throwing out Emma Frost as a counterexample, I'll get to that in a minute. You even get some explanation of how some of the characters' powers work, which I thought was really interesting. The character who gets the most development here is Magneto, and oddly enough, his story felt a lot like Star Wars, where there's a lot of discussion about light side versus dark side of the Force. However, unlike Anakin in the prequel trilogy, who were told is a good person despite him constantly acting like a raging asshole, Magneto, surprisingly, is a genuinely likable guy. He does have a very dark goal from the beginning. He wants to get revenge on a certain person, but you do understand why he feels the way that he does, and he's completely open about it the entire time. Meanwhile, Xavier, who comes off as more of a spoiled rich brat, is really just too stupid to pay attention. Magneto will say something like, no, really, I'm going to kill this person, and Xavier's just like, oh, whatever, I know you're really a good guy. Meanwhile, there are two things that this movie manages to pull off with a stunning twist of irony. It shows that you can have a really great X-Men movie that doesn't star Wolverine, while at the same time, Hugh Jackman still appears in what is probably the best cameo ever. But of course, every movie has its problems, and one thing I hear everyone complaining about here is January Jones playing Emma Frost. I've heard people complain that every scene she's in is just awful, and I'll grant you, her performance wasn't great. But in her defense, it wasn't Halle Berry bad. Halle Berry playing Storm was probably the worst casting decision in the entire X-Men movie series. Her performance would go all over the place. It was honestly like watching a little kid in a school play trying desperately to prove that she knew how to act by overdoing everything. Ooh, look at me! I can be happy! And I can be sad! And I can be angry! And I can be tough! Urgh. Even her accent changed from one movie to the next. In the first X-Men, she had kind of an African accent, which is at least arguably appropriate because Storm is from Africa, but then in X-Men 2 and 3, she had a Valley Girl accent. And just in case you don't think it's that big of a deal, let's all take a moment to remember that she has a fucking Oscar! Meanwhile, January Jones had the same boring, monotone face throughout the entire movie. I mean, she stayed pretty consistent. She didn't try to do a bunch of stuff that she wouldn't be capable of. So yeah, it was bad, but ultimately, it was just forgettable. It didn't make me hate the movie the way Halle Berry did. Now, there are a few things I could complain about, like a couple of the special effects being spotty, and there were a few dull performances, with January Jones being the one that people seem to single out the most. And of all the movie cliches they could have used, there's one black guy in the entire movie. No joke, he actually has the superpower of surviving, and he still gets killed off. That's kind of messed up, I'm just saying. But overall, any complaints here are just nitpicks when compared to how much this movie gets right. In my opinion, it absolutely absolutely deserves all the hype and the praise that it's received. If you like X-Men or if you like superhero movies at all, definitely go see it.